Hello brothers and welcome back to another glorious video. Today is the Sunday, which is of course, the, it's basically the pre-order day where we find out what's coming next week. And next week we are getting a lot of black armoured sons of the Emperor. A, a, a hell of a lot. Raven Guard and Iron Hands are getting their Codex supplements. If you watched my video a couple of days ago, my source, um, who shall rename Nameless, let's call him Mr... Alpha, uh, well, let's call, let's call him Alpharius at the moment. Um, he said that these books were in stock already, um, and they, they got delivered to the um, the shop he was at, and he was telling me about all the upgrade kits and stuff like that. And finally, we can see them all now on the website. So let's jump in and let's go through them all and let's take a little gandy because it looks absolutely fantastic. So both of these codexes come in three different formats. Uh, you have the Iron Hands uh, the limited edition, you have the Raven Guard limited edition, you have the normal books, you know, just, just like the normal looking art books, and you also have the digital books as well. If we start with Codex Raven Guard, or Codex Supplement Raven Guard, I should say, it says, a new book is about to emerge from the shadows. That's right, the Sons of Korax are set to receive a book all of their own. Codex Supplement Raven Guard will serve as your ultimate companion to collecting these um, stealth specialists. Seriously, they're, they're like eight foot tall armored, genetically engineered ninjas. That's what basically are they just stay in the shadows and go squawky squawk as well as providing you with um, um detailed background military organization of the chapter you'll gain access to psychic powers um disciplines unique relics uh of the raven spire new world or treats and much more basically we we know all this already it's it's what you got with the ultramarines and the white scars but it's just themed to either the raven guard or the iron hand i have heard through the grapevine again this is this is no confirmation that the iron hands book is probably going to be the most powerful book when it comes to these um chapters because they can do a lot of kinky things with vehicles again that's i can't really go into it at this moment in time because it's a bit hazy the information i've got but i've just heard that um if anything's going to be powerful it's going to be the iron hands and on the subject of iron hands you can see their stuff in the background again iron hands you know normal supplement sparkly limited edition one and the digital one as well you know for me if it comes to my codex or sorry i was gonna say my codex the imperial fist codex because i'm a big imperial fist fan i'm gonna go buy the limited edition i'm sure most people who just want to maybe pick up this for the law and the organization and the pretty pictures inside of it i will probably just get the normal looking one but i think the limited edition ones are made for the fanboys like the fanboys of the chapters like myself and other people who are like fanboys of iron hands and stuff like that also included are of course data cards it says for easy use of gameplay don't forget to pick up these respective data card sets for the raven guard and iron hands you've seen them in the background you know that has basically all like the chapter stuff on them and like all the special things so you can whip them out and start doing pokemon battles via cards and well not really pokemon but you know what i mean you can start using them stuff um for your um uh, your, your your chapters you want iron hands or raven guard right moving on to the primar prime pr primar i was gonna say primax good god Val, right you got primax on the brain primaris upgrade kits and transfer sets because this for me is where the fun begins so let's look at the um, raven guard one first because guess what you have beaky helmets yes 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 raven guard the beaky helmets are strong with you you can see you get one two actually it's only two oh, okay that's a bit odd i thought they'd put more beaky helmets in there so you get two beaky helmets and four normal looking space marine heads the heads do look very grunge let's go let's just go there you know they, they are staying with the theme of uh, my chemical romance of shrike and stuff i don't mind it i, I think a lot of people have memed it to death and i love it i love the memes the memes have probably been some of those brilliant memes i've seen um but i i actually don't mind it. i think you know they they are kind of like long-haired kind of like you know dark-haired kind of uh, I, I live in the shadows you know kind of theme so that doesn't really bother me and when it comes to the weapon upgrade kits you can see like they've i think they've got like is it is it feathers it's feathers and bird skulls it seems and of course they've got the stalker bolt uh, um upgrades uh, for their stuff as well because you know, of course raven guard snipers taking people's heads off from range and all that kind of stuff they've got uh two shields as i can see in the picture so two shields with um um, um hawk well i say hawk heads you know bird heads on them and stuff like that the actual shoulder pads themselves of course you get the aggressors and you get the normal ones for the intercessor marines nothing really standing out there it's just a raven guard symbol on it it looks cool it looks nice and the little bits you get attached to just like raven stuff like claws and bird helmets and uh yeah it's, it's just skulls of bird helmets nothing nothing really which is spectacular well I, I say it's not spectacular but nothing nothing we really didn't expect when it comes to raven guard i think i think the biggest thing out of this upgrade kit is of course the beaker helmets because a lot of people are saying i want beaker helmets for my raven guard there you go you have official primaris beaker helmets for your raven guard now 
And the transfers, as you can see, um, again, it's just it's just bits and stuff that has changed really. From I'm I'm, I'm really comparing everything to the Imperial Guard. Uh, sorry, the Imperial Guard. The, where's my head at today? I'm comparing everything to the Imperial Fist one. Um, so you basically get some uh, vehicle ones. You get some ones for your normal Marines. I'm sure a lot of people are just going to be using the shoulder pad upgrades because shoulder pads upgrades like the 3D sculpted ones are a lot more cooler than decals. But for me, I actually prefer decals. I think decals look a lot cooler. But you know, I I, I always see people put the 3D ones on there, which is you know it's cool. Um, so you've got you've got numbers on it you've got like a you know um a, a squad markings of free and stuff about i think they're for vehicles and dreadnoughts and all that kind of stuff you've got some lieutenant ones on there and you've also got some campaign badges on there as well so yeah there we go that is the raven guard upgrade kit pretty cool pretty amazing but i technically think tech when i say technically i'm saying this as a pun because you know technicians iron hands and stuff um of course i should have Valric. um i think the iron hands one blows everything out of the water because look at this so for me, this has to be the best upgrade kit by far. Um, the Iron Hands one, I, I just, I, I actually love the theme of the Iron Hands. Like they're all like techy and stuff, and you know they're, they're also they're always trying to improve themselves. They're, they're, they're trying to make themselves better when it comes to um, you know, their weapons, their actual their, their body. You know, fleshes for the weak, as they say. Um, and if you look at the, the upgrade kit now, you can see like some robotic arms. You can see um, new drum magazines on their guns. The heads, the helmets are all robotic theme. Like half of missing. You know, flesh, you know, binded with metal, and the little purity seals that got the little cogs on them. The actual shoulder pads themselves, like aggressors, are like half cogs and stuff like that. They've actually got some of the um, like Mark um, Five um, Heresy studded armor, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, bolts to make it a bit more tougher, a bit more, um, um, you know, can take more of a beating. Absolutely love it. I, I this 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 by far is my best upgrade here. Even better than the Imperial Fist one. I know the Imperial Fist one we got. A glorious power fist but i just love like how theme this is and how it suits their chapter um i think it's absolutely brilliant and that carries over with the decals as well as you can see the decals they've got um, bolts on there they've got like the, the iron hand they've got uh, the campaign badges lieutenant badges the numbers looks great looks fantastic um as i said i'm a massive fan of decals i prefer decals more than the 3d stuff that's just me of course um but yeah for every chapter that gets this called it supplement uh they gotta get an upgrade kit well technically now we've only got two left and we've already seen the imperial fist one because that got released in the battle force box set last christmas so really now we've only got to see the salamander one so can the salamander one beat the iron hands one i have my fingers crossed because i do love salamanders now the big thing of course as i mentioned is the new character models for leading each armor we've had tagarius uh we've had uh Kasaro khan now of course shrike has been upgraded uh into this new primaris format and um, there's been a lot of debate about this model i personally love it i think it's great i think the most complaints about the base is that he's too high up um but maybe he has like certain rules to make him you know you can't be shot and stuff like that so it says the raven guard and iron hands are also set to receive new primaris characters in the form of um shrike and the iron and father ferios kind of like ferris but you know this guy's a head so it can't be uh, <laughs> as chapter master shrike will cater for all your uh, re-roll base needs uh, and uh, and we all we all have those we do uh, he's an expert leading vanguard and jump pack troops so we'll make an excellent leader for your raven guard when taking to the flight of the enemy of course having crossed the rubicon primary shrike is an absolute powerhouse in combat too i am very 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 much looking forward to seeing his rules especially with those lightning claws those lightning claws have to like just mess up anything they come across please 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 i this th this is what i want for my primaris i want more close combated troops so um hopefully this is the start of seeing like lightning claws and you know um all the other stuff that we want when it comes to um primaris and lastly for the character models is of course the good old iron father which has like a little i love his little claw at the top it's like he's about to go into the arcade and literally rob every little thing that's out there he's you know he's he, he's just not in the mood for their machines he's just got to go in and start getting all the teddy bears for himself so uh, malkan ferios i hope i'm pronouncing that right is the iron father and an ancient title bestowed upon the most revered warriors of the iron hands as master of the forge ferios is able to repair vehicles as battle rage is about him that is awesome but he's a warrior first and foremost ferios can uh, effortlessly cut foes down with his shoulder mounted artificer heavy bolter gorgon's wrath and hew any who dare to draw within reach of his cog toothed axe harrow hand um if you're looking for an incredible um capable all-rounder to lead your sons of the gorgon to battle except no substitute now as i've mentioned apparently iron hands are going to be absolute 
ballers when it comes to vehicles and it seems if you have this guy in between him repairing all the vehicles it, you may have a bad time I'm, I'm hearing like with this new space marine stuff like full-on dreadnought armies and stuff like that which are an absolute pain and um, there was a, a couple at the two versus two tournament i went to where people say there's, there's just dreadnoughts there's just dreadnoughts everywhere and with the stratagems where you can like take half damage on dreadnoughts and stuff it becomes incredibly you know tedious to take these down and especially more so if you're going to be placing this guy in the middle of them all who's just going to be like hey repairs for you repairs for you repairs for you um so yeah it's going to be very very interesting to see his rules and what the iron hands themselves can bring to the battlefield and lastly we have of course uh, new models when i say new models these models were out any well i say some of these models were out we have the new reaver um lieutenant um who's got that like kind of jump pose and of course we have the new eliminators well i say the new eliminators the eliminators who are in the multi pose now they're not just just, you know, you, you have to put him, you know, when, when you got him in the box set and stuff like that. The thing is, when it comes to these Illuminators, you can assemble them in two variants. You can assemble them as, as the Snipers or the Las Fusiliers. And I'm going to do nine as Las Fusiliers because Heavy, um, and it's like, I think it's like Damage 3 or Damage 2 or something like that. It, it, it just fills me so much joy because I like to stay in the Devastated Doctrine and just purge everything from a distance. I am not Tau. How dare you compare me to Tau? Right, so yeah, this is what's all coming. Um, it's going to be on pre-order. Um, super excited. Um, this means there's only two more codexes left now, which is, of course, the Imperial Fist and the Salamanders. I know, GW, you're saving the best to last. I don't care if it lasts. You are saving the best to last. GW has confirmed that the Imperial Fists are the best chapter because it's the best for last. It's, it's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let me know what you think. Um, post your comments and everything down below. You're going to be getting this. So you're going to be avoiding this. Are you an Iron Hand? Are you a Raven Guard? Do you like the upgrade kits? Um, everything. Let's have a nice little chat about it down there. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching the video. And yeah. Get your pre-orders. It's coming, brothers. It's coming very soon.